friends so i am back and today we are going to study about the relationship between the molar mass density of the substance and the edge length of a unit cell okay so let's start so first we will need to consider the three terms that is the molar mass will be capital m and density of a substance will be rho as you can see and the edge length will be denoted by a okay so we are starting now so first we will consider that the edge length of a cubic unit cell is a okay so the edge length that is the side of a cubic unit cell will be considered as a and now we will find the volume of that unit cell so what is the volume of a cube we know that the volume of a cube will be what side cube so the volume of that unit cell will become what here a is the side so therefore a cube and now we have find the volume of a unit cell that is a cube and now we have to find the total mass of a unit cell for finding the total mass of a unit cell we will first consider that m is the mass of a individual particle okay so m will be the individual mass of the particle and n is the number of particle total number of particle in a cube so what will be the mass the total mass will be m into n okay guys the total mass will be m into n and now we are considering the rho as a density and what is the density it is a mass upon volume here mass will be of a unit cell and the volume will be of also unit cell so the mass we have got that m into n so we will substitute this value m into n and the volume have we have got a cube so we will substitute that value a cube okay so now we have find the density and now we are we will be finding this molar mass and in the 11th standard we have learned the formula for molar mass is equal to mass of one particle that is individual particle into the number of particle per mole so the mass of individual particle will be small m as we have considered here and the and the number of particle per, per mole is equal to avogadro number okay 6.022 into 10 to 23 so na na is what avogadro number okay so we have find the molar mass and now we are calculating the mass of a individual particle in terms of molar mass so what will be the uh, mass of a individual particle it will be equal to molar mass upon avogadro number okay so now we have got all the conclusion and now we are going to this substitute this value into the equation of a density okay so now so now put all the values of equation 1 and 3 in equation 2 so now density is equal to mass upon volume okay so mass we have got m into n and volume a cube and in terms of molar mass we have got the mass of individual mass is equal to molar mass upon avogadro number so m upon n a into n upon a cube and now after solving this we have got this n m upon a cube na so the final relation between the density molar mass and edge length of a unit cell is density is equal to number of particle into molar mass into the volume of that unit cell into avogadro number okay guys so now we have completed the completed the relationship thank you guys